Okay, so we have used headphones, earphones, TWS, and even neck bands, all the audio gadgets that you can think of, we have used. Them. Like this recently launched Nothing Ear Stick, and we have some very interesting thoughts on it. We'll get to that. But today's video is about audio devices in budget 3000 rupees. And we recently did a video on best headphones you can get at any budget. And in that video, we said that if you just need something for walking, workout, to look trendy, get TWS or a neck band. But now the question is should you get a TWS? or a neck band. Well, don't worry, we'll tell you. So stick around till the end of the video. Techwiser, let's go. First up is Petron Bass Buds Ultima ANC Wireless Earbuds. You can get it for under 1000 and if this is your first TWS, well, you get a box. Inside, you get the earphone case, the earbuds, some paperwork, some extra ear tips and a charging cable. That's it. So these cost 799 to be exact, saving you that one rupee. And for the price, at first glance, it seems like a really good deal. Like see here, when you open the case, there is a small display and it shows the charging percentage and everything. I mean, even high and TWS don't give you that. So cool, right? Well, no. Firstly, these cheap TWS are all super bass heavy. Like see here, I'm listening to Pasuri and all I can hear is the bass like <laughs> the vocals of the singer are barely audible. And second, these cheap TWS are all well and good. They look good for a month or so. And after that, either one of the earbuds will stop working or the left ear will have higher volume than the right. And worst case scenario, the case will stop charging. Trust me, it has happened to us. This is the second TWS we have bought for the same company for this video. So my advice would be, don't buy TWS for around 1000 rupees. You will end up wasting money. It's better to get a neck band. But now the question is, which neck band to get? Well, you get Mivi Caller Flash Pro because number one, they cost just 1299. And number two, you get a whooping 72 hours of battery life on a single charge. That is insane. And at this price, I would always recommend getting a neck band. And I'll give you two important reasons why. Firstly, neck bands are more convenient. Like if you have a neck band and someone wants to talk to you, all you have to do is remove stick the magnet and it hangs around your neck. So convenient. Also in most of the neck bands, when you remove them from your ear and attach like this, the music pauses and they are disconnected from your phone. And if you want to hear it back again, you just have to remove, put them back. It's always around your neck. With TWS, you have to take them out and hold on to them with, you have the risk of losing one of them. And second, the microphones on the neck band are front facing. Like I wear them like this and here is the mic closer to my mouth. On TWS, the mics are usually far away from your mouth in the ear. So call quality is much better on a neck band than a TWS. Like, hold on, I'll give you a live demo. And this is the audio from the Mivi Caller Flash Pro. See, it sounds much better indoor, even in traffic and in noisy environment. So the audio you get from the TWS in the same price. It is good, not bad, but if you go in noisy environment, you can barely hear yourself. And in case the other person can't hear you, you don't have to shout. All you have to do is bring the neck band closer to your mouth and speak normally. Now, one little con with this Mivi neck band is when you remove the buds from your ear and attach it back to the magnet, it doesn't disconnect from your phone or neither the music stops. It just keeps on playing. So you have to manually pause the music. This is one feature that you get with other neck bands at the same price range. And if you increase your budget a little more to 2000, then you can get this. OnePlus Bullet Wireless Z2. And if you're a bass lover, then you are gonna love the sound quality. Like listening to Bacha Ke Gaane, you will get totally lost in the music. It is that good. Also, you get 12.4 mm drivers and general rule of thumb in most cases, bigger driver is equal to better audio. And the OnePlus Bullet Z2 has the best fast charge in any neck band. Like with 10 minutes of charge, you get one full day's battery life. Very impressive. But then again, neck bands are not truly wireless because you will have to constantly deal with the wire. Sometimes it might get very annoying. So in that case, if you can increase your budget to 2000, you get Oppo Enco Buds 2. And these sell for around 2200 or 300 on Flipkart. But see here, if you go to Oppo's official website, you can get it for 1999. And for the price, you are getting a really good deal. Like Oppo makes really good audio product because Oppo started off as an audio company. And I really like the build quality of the buds. Like the buds fit in my ears very well. And the case is very convenient to carry around. And you have this nice blue accent on the inside. Looks really cool. And it even goes inside this watch pocket in my jeans. And the sound quality is really good. Like you get additional features. Like you get gesture control. So if you tap the earbuds one, it plays or pauses the music. If you double tap, it goes to the next one. And if you triple tap, it goes to the previous one. Also, you get app support here, like you can download the Hey Melody app and from there, you can fine tune the sound, like you can change the equalizer settings and everything. So if you have a budget of around 2000 and you need a TWS, you should consider getting the Oppo Enco 
Buds 2. Now, if you raise your budget to 2500, you get the newly launched Realme Buds Air 3S. Now, you get a very different design. Like the case is square, a bit bigger compared to Oppo. You get a transparent lid. It looks cool. But after a few days, it got scratched in my pocket. And then when you open, you see the Buds and dare to leap. Would you dare? On a serious note, these TWS are good if you go to the gym or run with your TWS. You get these small fins with them and they stay in your ear strong. Like, even if you shake your head, like, you can tr try your best. It doesn't fall. Also, the sound quality is really good. You get good bass. And when you watch videos or movies, you can hear sounds at the end, like a really good sound stage. Rest, you get sound options in the Realme Link app. You can do bass boost, clear bass, or you can also make your own equalizer settings. There are a lot of customization options in the app. But here's my favorite feature. It can connect to two devices at once. So if you have a laptop and phone, you can connect to both of them at the same time. And suppose I'm watching a video on my laptop and then I get a call on my phone. I can just pick up the call and talk through the Realme Buds Air 3S. Dual device connectivity is a very nice feature and it should be there in every TWS. Very helpful. And finally, we have with us the newly launched Nothing Ear Stick. And this is a very interesting device. Like first, I thought 8,500 for Nothing Ear Stick without ANC, without in-ear, that's way overpriced. But when we got it, like the unboxing experience is really good. You get a very unique box, quite different from other TWS. Just like every nothing product, I love the presentation. And just look at the design of the earbuds. This circular, rotating, transparent case looks so unique. It looks futuristic. And the buds look similar to the Nothing Ear one, except that now it doesn't have any ear tips or anything. So it has this out ear design. And the advantage here is that it fits all ears. So you don't have to worry about fit and comfort. And the sound quality from the buds are really nice too. Like listening to the same song, this is by far the best sounding TWS or neckband in this entire list. And one of the coolest feature is this squeeze feature. Like if I have to pause the music, I have to squeeze it like this. And it gives a ting feedback when you press it. Like, listen to it carefully. Like, listen to it. Don't have to make it. <laughs> Small haptic. Like, listen to this carefully. Got it? Got it? Like, I squeeze this two times, it goes to the next song. If I do it three times, it goes to the previous song. And I personally like this. Like, this is better than using touch gestures. Oftentimes, you accidentally touch it and activate the gesture. It won't happen here. However, by default, it sounds a bit bass heavy. So, you can go into the app and change the EQ settings and reduce the bass. Also, you have in-ear detection on the earbuds. The music pauses when you remove them from the ears. But the Nothing Ear Stick isn't perfect. Like number one, there is a lot of noise leak. Like I'll bring the mic closer to the ear. So you can hear the music and I'm not even at full 100% volume. It's like 70, 60% volume. So if you're using it in your office or a similar place, other people can hear you. So... Listen to only songs. And honestly, this is a good earbud, but it is just too expensive. Like India is a price sensitive country and at a price point of 8499 and 7499, if you're a nothing user, you get 1000 off. You're not getting any ANC or transparency mode. And at this point, I would rather recommend getting the Samsung Buds Pro. That costs around 8500 and during sale, it even goes down to 6500. And for that price, you get really good audio quality, ANC and everything. So yeah, that was the list. If you have a budget of around 1000 rupees, the Mi V Caller Flash Pro is a good option. If you are a OnePlus user and if you have a budget of 2000, the OnePlus Buds Z2 are a really good option, especially for base lovers. And if you want a TWS around 2000, Oppo Enco Buds 2 is also a really good option. And if you have a budget of around 2500, the Realme Buds Air 3S are also a good option. You get dual device connectivity and I would pay just for that feature. And as for the Nothing Ear Stick, I can recommend it only if you get a good deal somehow and get it at around 6,000 or something. But it definitely looks different. It looks cool. And I think that's the entire product line of nothing. But it definitely looks different. And on that note, this is Vadik signing off. See you in the next video. Pew, pew, pew.